A high-tech weapon made with low-tech components. Waxed cardboard and rubber bands, but with military-grade guidance systems. And what I'm excited about is I think it provides the, the, the warfighter the opportunity to innovate in the battle space. The cardboard drone launched by hand or catapult. 100 a month are being sent to Ukrainian soldiers arriving as flat packs. And then you assemble it uh, as, an, as, as if it's from Ikea and then you can use it. It's cheap, it's very important because you can use it and it's expendable. Used for supply and medicine drops as a decoy and for lethal missions. I know it's been used for that purposes and uh, I think this is how drones are used in this war. So they can use it for bombing purposes or put a camera there and use it for reconnaissance purposes just to spy out what's ahead of them. But the manufacturers are coy about that. The operational sensitivity, we can't talk too much about how it is being used. According to the government, a boost to the defence industry's international reputation. This is an example of Australian ingenuity. And the Defence Minister says his department is now investigating whether there's a role for these cardboard drones for the Australian armed forces. I hope that we'll see our Defence Force using this in the future. I think it has great application uh, here as well as in the Ukraine.